Hey guys, I'm going to teach you four uh, magic tricks that you can try. And they are all pretty easy, okay? Okay. So the first one is the, uh, the grab the top card. That's a nine of hearts. You can't really tell because it's backwards, but this is a nine of hearts. Um, and then you put it on the top, take the card, put it, slide it in the middle, and then it's back on top. Okay. That time it failed for some reason. Let me retry. If that doesn't happen. You, it takes practice. But that doesn't happen. That's never happened when I showed it. Uh, Nine of Hearts. Okay. The nine of hearts is right here. You put it on top. Slide the card into the middle. Do some little hand gesture. And then, that's my foot. It's there. So, how you do this is when you're grabbing the top card, uh, you have to grab one, two. There's two cards that you grab instead of one, and you make it look like one card. And it's hard to make it look like it when it's straight, because you can see, just so you bend it, eight of hearts. And then when you put it down, uh, the eight of hearts is like this, on top of on this. And then you're picking up a different card and putting it in the middle in some weird hand gesture, and then slapping it, and it's on top. So that one isn't that tricky, but some of these other ones are going to be bad. Okay, guys, this is the second one. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go like this on both sides. And you see that, oh, I did it the wrong way. So you're going to have it like this. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen either. Okay, good. I just got Don, Don. I just got done picking up all the cards because of my fail. Um, so what is going to happen is when you do this, you're doing it on both sides. But when you do it, uh, there it's a four of diamonds, seven of spades. Four of diamonds, seven of spades. Four of diamonds, seven of spades. You're probably like, oh, that's just a trick card. No, that's this is how you do it though so now my cards are a little bit bent but how you do it is so uh, when you do that they're not always going to land on the same thing like do you see how when it happens there's one behind like it's hard to explain See how on this side I landed on a king of clubs? Well, on this side I landed on a nine of diamonds. So what you want to do is when you do it, you want to you want to get it to about right here where you can see three diamonds, three diamonds. How did I do it? I can't get my hands in the right spot to where you guys can see. See, look at. Jack of uh, Diamonds, Ace of Spades, Jack of Diamonds, Ace of Spades, Jack, Spades, Jack, Spades. This is what I'm doing. See, it's a Jack of di things like that. So that when you do that, and that. It's actually not that hard. It's really funny when you trick people with these. Okay, now we are moving on to the next one. This one is kind of hard to show because I don't have an audience to show this one with because I can see which cards you're picking. But like, how this trick works is you'd go like this, but I can't see them. This is what you'd see. They would pick a card, like, let's say they pick this one. You won't see what it, the card is. And then what you're going to do is 
I'm showing it your way, so I would be standing like this, and they would be over here. Uh, they would remember their card. Now, this is what the card is. Six of diamonds. That's what the card is, but we wouldn't know when we're doing the trick. They would, uh, you would open it, and you would look at this card. Remember, ace of hearts, okay? Ace of hearts. And you'd tell them, you'd tell them to put it on top of this. On, you'd tell them to put their card on top of it without letting you see it. So you never know what their card is. You just remember Ace of Hearts. So see Ace of Hearts is going on top. You know it's going to be on top of the Ace. Then you just go through it until you find Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts right here. And then there's six. See? So that one works out well. Now I'm going to get you the last one. Okay, this one probably takes the longest to set up, but it is hilarious when you te uh, trick people. So you need four of kind of the same cards. So you need like any colored card. Uh, what, I'm just using example, nine of diamonds, nine of hearts, seven of diamonds, and seven of hearts. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the nine of diamonds with the seven of hearts, like that. And then you're going to put the seven of diamonds on top of this like that and then you're gonna put this one the nine of hearts like that so that it so that they don't know where it is and then you're gonna show them these two cards and you're gonna tell them put them anywhere in the deck and then they're gonna put it somewhere in the deck la 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 and then what you're gonna do is since they they're thinking of you know how it was a seven of hearts? Well, they're going to end up with a nine of hearts, and the nine of uh, diamonds is going to end up as a seven of diamonds, but they won't remember uh, that they were like that, so it's funny when you trick them. So what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle them, but you want to make sure that this nine of hearts stays at the bottom. So, get, and you want to make sure this seven of diamonds stays on top. So you want to get some of these, make it about even. So remember, this is, stays at the bottom. So you want to, when you do it, you want to make sure this hand has this one on the top and this has the bottom at the bottom. Uh, so you go like this, make sure this one comes down first, like that. And then you can do your thing. And you see how I kept this side on top. So now, there's still the nine of hearts on bottom, and the seven of diamonds on top. You never want to get those mixed. Then you want to go through it, get about half and half. Remember, to get that one down first. There. It's on top, on bottom. And you just do that about three or four times, and then at the end, You'd hold it, the card deck like this to where these are kind of pulled out, the bottom and top cards. And then you'd tell them to blow on it. When they blow on it, you'd go like this, and you'd drop all of them, and then these would slide out, and you'd show them that you have them. This is what would happen. So let's say I had someone here blowing it. And then they'd be amazed. Even though they didn't get the same cards, you did so much stuff that they forgot what the cards were. So these have been four uh, good magic trick card, uh, magic tricks with cards that trick a lot of people. Um, have a great day.